Welcome everyone. In this video I will show you how to glue your M.2 SSD or how to change the passive radiator heatsink if you have already one installed but it is just not enough, not tool enough and it's just not doing the job well. Which the case is what I got here on the Alita XPG S11 Pro with 512GB. So the, the thing about this is that this uh, passive radiator heatsink is just not tall enough, it's basically uh, it's a gimmick, it's basically a joke, because this doesn't heat, doesn't cool the, uh, cool down your SSD, because it's ca it basically can, because how small and how, how thin is just the heat sink, heat sink installed by the factory. So that's why I've got here um, a heat sink, passive radiator heat sink from Hexagon. This has, uh, this is a 10 millimeter tool, which is really, really good, and this can actually dissipate the heat and transfer the heat really really good and uh, here I've got a, ther a ther uh, thermal pad from Thermal Grizzly 8 minus 8 with uh, 0.5 millimeter thickness which will be perfect for my M.2 SSD so let's remove the basic the basic heatsink and let's install the the aftermarket cooler it's like under the hood with basically a really 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 small small aluminum heatsink and the uh, thermal pads are not even covering the full the full size of the chipsets only from the from the from the sides the left and the right side but on the middle doesn't even covering and which is really really bad because that that way doesn't transfer the heat and as you can see this is how it looks like under the bed but I will uh, I will change this with uh, my after aftermarket uh, radiator passive radiator as you can see for comparison how thin is this and how big is this the aftermarket which is this aftermarket uh, heatsink is uh, re really really cheap like um, five or six euros basically you can get it from anywhere and the uh, PC store online and anything else but I first I will clean this with uh, isopropyl alcohol I will clean the cheap sets and this I will just throw away thermal pad I cut the thermal pad in four pieces because I you need only to cover the chip sets the top of the chip sets and but you can also apply the whole thing in my case the chip sets are the same has the same height so I I don't need to use thinner or thicker thermal pads only with one thermal pad is good but you can you can cut even as I did in four pieces or, or how many pieces you, you you need to cut basically you have to peel off the the plastic from the bottom before applying the thermal pads and after that from the top then you will put now I will put on the the actual aftermarket uh, thermal pad so let's do that this is the end result after I installed the passive radiator on them that's SSD with these two rubbers which are holding on really tight to the heatsink and the SSD and as you can see there is no gap between the the thermal pad and the chipset they are covered full 100% which is really really good and the heat transfer now will be really really good this is the bottom of the bottom of the M.2 SSD and uh, the height of this is 10 millimeter which is really really amazing compared to this compared to the basic uh, from the factory which is as you can see how how, uh, how thin is basically it's just a joke and the thermal pads are not even covering fully the chip sets only from the size on left side and right side but other than that not even the middle is covered so I don't know this is just a joke marketing joke let's check this compared to this uh, as you can see how big the difference is so before the with this heatsink my temperature was uh, in idle 40 45 degree C as I said and in load or update or any, any gaming 60 and uh, yeah this with this I will test this but with this can can go down with minus 15 C so it you know, on load actually which is really really good and your speed you will not lose any speed from the and the SSD you will have the the original speed the fast speed SSD so yes thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe and this upgrade is really really cheap and definitely worth to do it